Right, good morning ladies and gents, welcome back to another video. As you can tell, I'm pretty ill, which is not ideal. Um, and we're kicking off the day with doing some back stretching and my rehab leg work. Um, so I have to do a load of like girly exercises to build up um, my glute muscles. Um, I'm not sure why, following what the physio is saying, um, and I'm actually seeing the physio today at 12 o'clock as well before heading back to Birmingham. So, first thing this morning, do my stretching, get my rehab work out of the way, um, so the physio doesn't tell me off, and then I'm going to be spending the day going to the gym, doing a little bit of work, doing bits and bobs here and there. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, sit back, relax, enjoy, uh, smash the button, and enjoy. Beautiful day. Decaf coffee, absolutely unreal. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't, well, I personally can't really tell the difference between decaf and a normal caffeine coffee. Um, so a lot of people absolutely hate decaf coffee, but I don't know if that's like a psychological thing, knowing that they're drinking decaf and it's not decaf coffee, and they just instantly think it's gonna taste different and not as nice. Um, but for me, I think it tastes absolutely beautiful. I can't really tell the difference, apart from the fact I'm not absolutely buzzing off my tits off it. Um, so yeah, like always, I'm having my decaf because I can't handle the caffeine. So actually at the weekend, I got myself 3D energy drink. Um, so this is Christian Guzman's company, um, uh, of course. Um, and we got this for free at the weekend. And I will be having this at some point. Um, just to get me going in some form of workout and it absolutely tastes unreal. Um, that's the one thing about any drinks that I do miss is the taste and just absolutely amazing to drink. And um, so I absolutely love a white monster as well. Um, so it kind of just suck at the fact I can't have them. Um, we're gonna have to set up a decaf for now. Still can't taste the difference between this and the normal one. I seriously need a shower and we're sat doing some design work. All the boring stuff as always. It is a beautiful day. Today we're gonna to head off to the gym now and hit up a shoulder workout with where are you? Hi. There you are, the sister. Workout with some seated shoulder dumbbell press. Um, so prior to this, I've hit 36 for five before. Because I'm feeling ill and I'm feeling a bit rough, I went for 34s today. Um, first set we've got eight reps. Second set we've got seven reps. Third set we've got five reps. Um, so pretty all round happy with that to be honest. Hitting 34 for eight reps is probably a PR for me, which is good. I'm almost adamant that. The weights here are lighter than the ones in Orbit Fitness. Uh, I'm pretty sure of it. Um, but yeah, really happy that that's moving. Um, we're now moving on to our back off set of 30 kilos. We're gonna try and get, um, last time I got 12, so we're gonna try and get about 13 today, which will be really good. Um, so yeah, let's see how these move. Not for that, 11 reps.
workout complete with the sister. Um, really good workout um, in the, the circumstances, circumstances. Um, because obviously I'm not feeling great, feeling a little bit ill. I was quite tired. Um, but we got it done. We moved some decent weight, 34s for eight. Pretty happy with that. Um, and then we moved on to obviously lat raises, uh, machine press, um, some rear delt work, and obviously some face pulls as well. Um, it's a really good workout to be fair. Um, it's an absolutely gorgeous day. I know I keep saying that, but it's absolutely beautiful. So we're heading to the physio for 12 o'clock. The time is currently 11 o'clock. Hopefully Holly's going to sort out what's going on with my back because the other day I tried to do a Romanian deadlift and my back was really really hurting like pretty much as bad as it was like four or five months ago when I tried deadlifting um, so we're still trying to figure out what is wrong with my back I'm still doing all my exercises I'm still doing all my stretching um, so we're trying to get it fixed um, but it isn't feeling great at the moment Sausages, two bagels, four eggs, a bit of tomato ketchup. Can't go wrong, bit of a brunch. Time is currently 20 to 12. Need to eat this proper quick and then head off to the physio to get myself sorted. Is that your bad side of your neck, Thomas? Uh, my right side is. Feel all right through there. Yeah, sort. yeah. Right, physio appointment done. I'm always feeling much better after a physio appointment. I feel a lot more loose um, and ready to go. So usually I try and see Holly once every two or three weeks, um, just to make sure that my muscles are all sound and I've got any knots or anything like that. Um, so I can just keep on top of it, especially with being at uni and being sat at a desk all the time, obviously bending over. Um, I tend to have a lot of problems with my traps and my neck um, from looking over it on the table. Um, so yeah, really good physio appointment with Holly, as always. She's actually Becca's friend. What's her um, company called? HC Sports Massage. HC Sports Massage. Yeah, so I'll link it. Yeah, I'll link it down below. Um, shout out to Holly. If you want anything done in Nottingham, definitely go to her. She knows her stuff. Um, which is a sound girl as well. So yeah, heading back home now. I'm going to pack my bag and then I'm going to head straight back to Birmingham. I also have a package that I'll show you. Package to open. So we have some new glasses. So we've got some size sucks. Glasses. Size sucks. <laughs> well, what would you say that is? Syx. Syx. There we go. <laughs> Which are actually blue light blocking glasses. You're there fresh. So basically, obviously, with me being working quite late, I'm um, doing uni work very late at night. I tend to struggle sleeping because of looking at the laptop too late at night. So I bought these to try and help me. Sleep harder than not. So we've got some of these um, to try and help me sleep at night because obviously I'm on my phone quite late as well. On my laptop a lot, doing uni work. So hopefully these are going to help me. Um, apparently they're absolutely amazing. I know quite a few people that have messaged me saying that they are really good. Tim's got exactly the same pen. He said they're really good as well. Um, so yeah, pretty fresh, pretty happy with them. University, gonna be spending the day here, Let's do some work, so I'll catch you And I am back at the house. The time is currently 10 to 12, if you can see that. Um, and I've just been sat doing work for a couple of hours, I've still got quite a bit to do, so it's gonna be a late one. Currently wearing my blue light rockers, I actually quite like them. So I'm gonna be up late tonight, so I'm gonna catch you guys in the morning. I've just been editing up the video so far, and it's pretty sick. So please smash the thumbs up button if you are enjoying it so far. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the morning. So 
the load. So we've just arrived at Lidl to get a quick shop. Um, we're only here for a couple of days. I'm going back for the weekend for Mother's Day. So we're gonna grab a couple bits of food to last us a few days. And I am now back in my room, just sat doing some work. Um, the time is currently 20 past 11 um, on a Tuesday evening. Um, and yeah, recently my kind of motivation for architecture has just plummeted to be honest, just dipping. I'm not sure whether it's just this project at the moment, um, but I'm just really not enjoying um, doing my work at the moment. Um, just because sometimes when things aren't working out, if you're not enjoying a project, um, you tend to be quite demotivated about it. So I've been doing work like very last minute um, and just not really keeping on top of my stuff like I normally am doing um, and I'm with that in mind I haven't been really having that many ideas in terms of architecture videos recently um, so I think for the time being I'm going to kind of mainly focus on my training videos and show more of my workout show more of my life um, kind of outside of uni um, and kind of focus on building up some form of audience in the fitness industry because I feel like a lot of my audience is architecture um, and I kind of want to not move away from that um, at the moment because architecture isn't a massive kind of motivating point for me at the moment. I think architecture is going to take a back seat for now and I kind of want to build up my audience within the fitness industry. Um, so I hope you understand um, my point of view. Um, I think it's just this project at the moment that's just really demotivated me. It's not giving me any ideas in terms of architecture videos. If you want me to do any architecture videos, please let me know down below in the comment section. Um, give me a couple of ideas and I will do that for you. Um, but for now, I'm gonna kind of focus on my training um, and coming up to my cut soon. So my Living Lean series, um, which is gonna be starting at the start of May. Um, so I really wanna kind of build up my knowledge in training, um, in nutrition, and just kind of showing you guys um, my journey um, and giving you guys some valuable information as well, sharing my workouts and that kind of stuff, etc. Um, so architecture is going to take the back seat for the bit for a bit, um, unless you guys want me to make any videos in particular. Um, so yeah, just currently sat with my blue light blockers. I can't really get used to them at the moment because I'm not used to wearing glasses. Um, so I'm literally sat there looking at my screen and I take them off and look at the screen. And then I realise that the only reason why I've got these on is so I look at the screen with these on. I just massively overcomplicated that. Well, anyway, I'm rambling on now. On that note, I'm going to wrap up this video. Um, I've got uni all day tomorrow, so I don't have any chance of filming tomorrow. Um, so thank you so much for watching the video, guys. I really do hope you understand the fact that I'm not very motivated in terms of architecture at the moment. I will be back soon, I promise you. Um, but just for now, I'm going to kind of focus on my training um, and getting some really informative videos out to you guys. I'm um, just showing you my that kind of fitness journey um so yeah thank you so much for watching the video guys make sure you smash the thumbs up button make sure to subscribe as always hit the notification bell and i'll see you next time subscribe to thomas roundtree <laughs> legend <laughs>